Hey everybody, it's Mrs. Curtis. Today we're going to be working on an awesome sandcastle drawing and we're going to be using the picture as an opportunity to work on perspective. So we're going to be showing a sandcastle really close to us and then we're going to be showing the ocean back behind it. Um, so hopefully you have your paper ready and your pencil. Remember, it's always best to draw with a pencil, um, although I am going to share with a Sharpie so it shows up on the screen. All right, here we go. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure about two fingers up from the bottom of my paper. So I'm gonna go about two fingers and I'm just gonna put a little dot. That's gonna be my first line. It's gonna look kind of like a horizon line. So using that dot, going from the left side of the paper to the right, I'm gonna make kind of a wavy or bumpy line. This is supposed to look like sand, so it should not be a straight line. There we go. Then I'm gonna go in towards the middle of my paper and I'm gonna make a, an A shape. So it's gonna go up and over and back down. And it's okay if your shape didn't end up right in the middle of your paper. If it's a little more to the left or the right, it's not a big deal. So I've got that first shape on there. Now I'm gonna go to the top of this shape and I'm gonna make what looks kind of like a W shape. So it's going to go out up and out on this side and up and out on this side. And then in between these two lines, I'm gonna make that traditional sandcastle teeth. They kind of look like teeth. So it's gonna go over and down and over and up and over and down and over and up and over just like that. All right, there's the first part. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the doorway. So inside my sandcastle here, I'm going to add the doorway and that's gonna be an arch or a curve. So kind of like a rainbow curve. So I'm gonna come up, curve it around and back down. And then I also wanna create some dimension or make it look like we can see through the sandcastle. So just on the right side, starting in the middle here, I'm gonna draw another little curve line. And you can see these are pretty close together. We don't want it to be really wide. We just want it to be a little bit of a line there to make it look like we can see through the same castle. All right, let's make the other towers. We're gonna come over to the side here. We wanna look at the top of our sand castle here and come down just a little bit. And then we're gonna go over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over, I'm gonna stop right about here. If you have a little bit more room, you can make yours a little bit wider. If you have a little less room, you can make it a little more narrow. And then I'm gonna bring it down. And just like I did with this tower, I'm gonna to create that doorway on the inside. So it's gonna go up and over. Then on the right side, I'm gonna start in the center and I'm gonna bring it down again. Always on that right side for this one. Okay. We're gonna go over to the left and we're gonna do the same thing we did over here. We're gonna start just a little down, over, down, over, up, over, down, over, up, over. I'm gonna make one more. Down, over, up, over, and down. And that side's a little wider than the other one and that's okay. All right, I'm gonna make that archway. I'm gonna create my 3D effect, go right to the top center and bring that line down and just like that. Now, we wanna create some depth and we wanna make it look like the water is behind our sandcastle. So we're gonna create a horizon line that actually goes through each of these little archways to make it look like we're looking through the sandcastle out onto the ocean. So I'm gonna start right about here, make sure it's going through. If you start up here, you won't go through your archways. So I wanna start where the archways are. And I'm actually gonna start in here and I'm gonna make another line going across. Remember to skip over the same castle. And then we need to take that line all the way to the edge of our paper. So it kind of looks like we have a double horizon line. We had one kind of here and then we have one back here. Once we color this, it'll make a little bit more sense. I know it looks a little strange right now. Now, of course, before we color it, we need to add some more details. So at this point, I want you to kind of have fun and add any details that you want to your sandcastle or to your sand. Like down here in the front, 
I might decide that I'm going to add <clears throat> maybe some seashells. So in my picture, I'm gonna go ahead and add a few seashells and you can add whatever details you want. So take just a minute before we move to the next step and go ahead and add some fancy details to your picture while I add them to mine. All right, hopefully you had enough time to add some details. If you wanna add some more after this next step, that's okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you the next step. Now, we're gonna actually create some texture in this picture. We've talked about texture a lot this year. And remember, texture is the way that something feels. And in a drawing, we're gonna put, we're gonna put implied texture, which is the illusion of how something feels. We know that if we're at the beach, then everything we're making is out of sand. So we want to create the illusion that our sand castle is actually made out of sand. So I'm going to use maybe kind of a medium brown and I'm going to start to add some little dots to my sand castle. It's going to make it look very different than the water that's behind it. So I'm going to add all these little specks to my sand. And if you're using markers, you can do the same thing with markers or colored pencils. Um, it doesn't have to be crayons. I just wanted to use crayons for this particular project. Adding all those little specks in the sand, even on that little shadow I created. And don't forget the sand in front of your sand castle too. So all of the sand that's still on the ground also needs some of that texture. Okay, now that I've got my sand textured, oops, I forgot the top of my castle. Let me get that real quick. All right, now that I have my sand textured, I'm ready to add some texture to my water. I want my water to look different than my sand. So I'm going to use maybe a medium blue crayon or a dark blue crayon, and I'm gonna add some water lines going through my water. Now, this is really important. When you make our water lines, we wanna make sure that they always go from left to right. If we make them going up and down, it's gonna make it look like we have a waterfall behind our castle, and we don't want that. So making these lines, make sure you make them going side to side or left to right. And I'm just going to add some little wavy lines in the doorways of my sandcastle, just like this and off to the side. Make it look like water back there. There we go. Now I've got my water. All right, friends, this is the end of the first step of our drawing. So. Meet me back here and we'll talk about coloring in our awesome sandcastles. I'll see you later. Bye.